Welcome to Art Making Beyond Woo. My name's Jason, and in this episode we'll be looking at collage. This is from a painting I did last year. And I use collage a lot, pretty much in every uh, piece, every, every work, um, because I build up layers. Um, I like to use, grab little pops of color. <coughs> um, then also for a little bit of content, I guess, since I do so much like non-objective approach. Um, yeah, collage is the way I kind of sneak in a few of my own, I guess, uh, thoughts. <laughs> um, for color, shape, and line. Um, uh, stuff I picked up at the thrift store. I mean, an origami book of papers that's just nothing but solid colors. It's great paper towels that I use to blot out painting paint when I'm working on other paintings. Sometimes I'll save those. Marks. Marks that get made. Marks that I might make on a separate piece of paper. Um, all these little bits of information come in handy along the way. Helps provide balance and often it's those little pops of either contrast or harmony, color harmony, that help move the eye around the picture. And so that's very useful for me because I need to kind of mock it up and move it around also. Not all the time, but especially as it's narrowing towards the end of a painting, I suppose. It's a really good way for me to, yeah, get an idea of what the painting needs. Um, yeah, it just builds up this really lush texture. Um, because we build up layers, we glue this stuff on and we paint over it and ideally we sand it back or do something to disrupt whatever, wherever we're at. So that way we have something to respond to as we want to, you know, then bring more pieces together to bring it all together. Yeah, which can be a little rough since I don't really know what a painting is going to be when I get started. It's all just, uh, yeah, it's intuitive for the most part. I mean, intuitive, like when I sit down for that session, these are the parameters, the, these are the different bits I'm giving myself to work with for that moment in time. And it's not limited to that because at any, at any point as it's coming together, generally momentum does build up and so then I'll get another idea and I'll want to go grab something specific out of this bin or this bin. Uh, just because the way it's shaping up has a feel, uh, generally a feel that I'm looking for, going for anyway, and it helps connect like, oh, this is where, oh, maybe that piece would work really good here because I'm always trying to find out ways to move in these other ideas that I have. Um, but, you know, not beating myself up about it or anything, it just, like, puzzle, put it, putting a puzzle together, puzzle pieces together. It's, uh, it becomes a lot more clear what the next answer is. And that's more difficult for me without the collage. Uh, yeah. When I don't use collage, I'll continue to keep thinking that I can resolve something that I'm working on by just continuing to interact with it. And I can, that's, that does happen all the time too, but um, often I find that's actually my own resistance toward using collage. And that, if I'm not paying attention, can go on for a month and like, I'll not know what happened, or why am I stuck, or why is this painting not really working out, or, you know, what happened here? And for me, it's come down to, oh, I thought, for whatever reason, I got it in my head that maybe I should try to do a painting without collage. Because that's what real artists do, right? Yeah. Because that is just the crab in the bucket, again. Um... 
that resistance and it has nothing to do with with you or me it has nothing to do with anything other than these are just uh, little echoes of ideas we pick up along the way through society and culture and our job right now is to really figure out how to minimize or even rewrite that stuff in our own mind so that we can be more free to do what we know we want to do and so this is one of the ways I do that sure do hope you like and subscribe thank you so much for watching art making beyond woo